Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. All right, so in the last two videos on sleight of hand, I've talked about um, I've talked about unemployment, and I've talked about the coming housing crisis, uh, eviction crisis. Uh, let's move on and go to uh, Biden's infrastructure plan. Now, I know a lot of people find this to be positive, and yes, there is some positivity found in it. Yes, it will create some jobs, but many of those jobs are temporary. And uh, some people are going to claim that what I'm going to say now is a conspiracy theory. But when you look at the history of this country in the last 20, 30 years and the advance of technology that is being sought right now, this is not conspiracy theory. Um, let me go to some of this. First, let's cover the infrastructure plan. All right, so... All right, so uh, he talks about what ask, uh, ask folks in rural America, talking about internet, where more than 35 people uh, percent of the people lack a reliable high-speed internet limiting their ability to conduct business or engage in remote learning for their schools. Ask them about whether investing in internet access will lead to better jobs in town, new markets for farmers, and better opportunities for kids. Um, I've already said, you know, putting this uh, in there is another it's a public private partnership and it means that we will pay for building the infrastructure and then the internet the internet service providers get to charge you for the internet service there's no reason why this country cannot provide internet service to every American for free. Um, will this lead to better jobs in towns, new markets for farmers, and better opportunities for their kids? Only if you can afford the internet service. That's the answer. Line workers and electricians laying transmission lines for a modern grid, providing over 500,000 charging stations on highways. Uh, we are going to build to accommodate electric vehicles so we can own the future. I'm going to come back to that in just a minute. Uh, but here's an interesting note in this one. Construction workers and engineers building modern hospitals and homes for American families, healthcare workers, steel workers, folks who work in the cutting edge labs, nearly 90% of the infrastructure jobs created by our American Jobs Plan can be filled by people who don't have a college degree. 75% don't need an associate's degree. This is a rationalization for not investing in adult education. This is an hierarchic, feudal society. This is talking about, yeah, a blue-collar blueprint. Blue-collar workers mostly do what? They work for white-collar workers. Okay? Um, what I'm proposing is that we meet in the middle, 28%, 28 uh, We will ha still have lower corporate rates than any time between World War II and 2017. Um, well, gee, that's great with, um, you know, a national debt approaching $28 trillion dollars and, uh, you know, millions of Americans facing eviction. 
yeah, let, let's not tax the corporations. Um, yeah. I've also proposed a global minimum tax, which is being proposed around the world for corporations of 21%. Let me tell you what that means. It means that companies aren't going to be able to hide their income in places like the Cayman Islands <coughs> and Bermuda in tax havens. We're all going to also eliminate deductions used by corporations for offshoring jobs and shifting assets overseas. They offshore the jobs, shift the assets overseas, and then don't have to pay taxes on all they make here. Um, actually, corporations have been paying taxes on what they make from overseas operations um, unless they move their headquarters you know, but 21%, that means that he's giving them a tax break for moving their, their, uh, moving their operations and or their sales offshore. All right, um, I'll get back to that. So let's go back to that one about uh, 500,000 charging stations on the highways. So that is one of the main things I wanted to address here. In the past 20, 30 years, we have seen a massive increase in the number of toll roads in the United States. Uh, you look at large cities and uh, you've got tags in your cars. So if you use uh, certain roads, uh, toll roads, or lanes, uh, you get charged money each time that you do, or you have to pay a monthly uh, fee. Um, you know, they build new roads or bridges and, and uh, you know, discuss charging a, a fee to use these roads, um, Mayor Pete was talking about, you know, a, a mileage tax to drive your vehicle. He, he dropped that because of the uproar that it caused. But here's the thing. You're talking about char all these charging stations. And what has been a major move in recent years? the automation of vehicles, especially commercial vehicles, trucks, etc. So you put all these charging stations, yeah, yeah we can do that, but uh, you know, if these things are automated, we're going to spend money on infrastructure. Just like when they build new roads and they include readers to pick up on the tag in your car. Um, you know, it would be no issue at all to build these new highways and so forth so that they make it easier for automated vehicles yeah, to yeah, deliver things from one point to another. Um, then you put automated autonomous vehicles on the highways and what do you do? You're eliminating jobs. Millions of jobs in the process. And so that is a means this is all deceptive. This is intentional deceptive. This is what is going to happen. They build out new roads with charging stations for electric vehicles. And, oh yeah, it'll cost less for the uh, companies that own the trucks, maybe. Uh, of course, they're going to talk about the uh, outlay on uh, new vehicles, but you reduce how much it costs to run, to run those vehicles, and 
you know, those vehicles will pay for themselves very shortly. And when they're not having to pay wages for drivers, then the vehicle pays for itself almost instantaneously. Um, not to mention, you know, depreciation and so forth. So this infrastructure will eventually eliminate jobs. Um, the oil industry workers are worried about this eliminating oil and coal jobs, and they are correct in that. Um, yes, it will create other jobs, but many of the jobs that it does create are temporary. They, they Once the infrastructure is built, you have a much smaller employment profile to maintain that infrastructure. You know, I'm all, I'm completely in favor of renewable energy and so forth. But there's another concern here, which is if they build out this infrastructure, then eventually, yes, they are going to maintain, they are going to mandate the transition over to electric vehicles. And that would be fine, except look at the price of electric vehicles right now. That, so, yeah, I, the first ones that are going to be using, uh, you know, the electric vehicles and autonomous technology are going to be commercial vehicles. We know this. You, you have no question of this. The first ones looking at using the autonomous vehicles who have done tests with it is who? Uber, um, Walmart, Amazon. These are the ones that are looking at using these technologies. If you think that they're going to stop at local deliveries, and then you're dead wrong. So, building out this infrastructure, I'm not saying it shouldn't be done, but we need to really look at how this is done and what the downstream effects are going to be. Because the, there is the massive potential for this to eliminate so many jobs and we've already seen the loss of millions of jobs just in the last two years, especially in the past year. And those jobs are not coming back. I don't care what you get told about some recovery. Those, many of those jobs, the majority of those jobs are not coming back. All right. We need to be aware of just what is really, what these bills really mean. You know, we build out internet, we pay to build the internet, the co and then it gets handed to corporations for you to pay for it. We build out highways, uh, and it eliminates jobs. In every case where you're eliminating jobs, then you're eliminating consumers. You're eliminating uh, local taxpayers that pay property taxes, that pay for our schools, that pay for our local road repairs and so forth. Let's not walk into all of this blindly. Okay? Share this video. Talk about these subjects. Subscribe to the channel. I guess it's over here. No, it's over there. Right, um, subscribe to the channel. And if you can, please donate a dollar a month to help expand the channel. And I will catch you in the next one.